Given our growing demand for energy, the offshore oil industry has resorted to drilling in deeper waters and at more extreme conditions. Ah, they're here. Under these operating conditions, there is an increased risk of a blowout preventer failure. The repercussions of a blowout are such that when a blowout takes place, the full reservoir volume can be released and depleted into the environment. My PhD work centers on determining the feasibility of controlling a free-flowing well by generating a mechanical plug inside of the failed blowout preventer. It entailed the formulation of critical parameters that lead to wire entanglement in a flowing conduit and the development of a functional prototype taking into consideration the operating constraint and the industry requirements. In order to prove the feasibility study of my approach, I considered the following. Generation of wire entanglement, subjected set structure to axial load to determine the potential anchoring within the well bore, and ceiling potential given the dimensions of the blowout preventer. To mitigate the effects of a blowout like the BP Deepwater Horizon accident, which resulted in the release of approximately 5 million barrels of oil at an estimated cost of $42 billion for BP. My method consists of feeding a wire into a free-flowing wellbore to create an entanglement inside of the wellbore. As the entanglement reaches cohesion, it is pushed by the flow towards an existing obstruction, such as the partially closed ramps inside of the blowout preventer. Simultaneously, I continue feeding a softer, more compressible material into the wellbore, thus generating higher drag forces and further compressing the initial entanglement against the obstruction to anchor the mechanical plug in the wellbore. Sealing is achieved as more and more soft material is compressed due to the significant pressure differential between the well and the environment. Or you can go to 380. My work has the potential to significantly reduce the time it takes to respond to an oil spill from the current four to ten weeks to a mere two to three days, thus allowing for sufficient closure of the well until more permanent well control solutions arrive on site. This means only a minimum amount of oil gets released into the environment. I'm trying to prove that I can create an entanglement inside of a high-speed flow. Cool? Awesome.